Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Tristel Ross and today we're going to be looking at how to correct hand gestures and how to kind of, you know, get some custom hand gestures that you want and how we can use custom set hand gestures to place on the characters at different points in the timeline just to get some really cool hand animation going. So if we come over to our scene here, you can see we've got a character who's posed in a running motion and you can see the hands here are in one pose. They're not really doing anything. And you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some motion correction to these hands and we're gonna really kind of get them doing a bit more in the scene. As you can see, it looks quite, you know, robotic. They look quite stiff. So we're just gonna come over here in our animation section and we're gonna go to gestures and you'll see there's a number of different hand gestures in this tab. If we scroll down, we're gonna look for a hand gesture that we wanna use on our character. But all you need to do is drag and drop these over and it will come down here on your timeline in the gesture tab. So we're just gonna drag this hand gesture over and you'll see in our timeline, it places the motion here under the gesture. Now we've got control of both the left and the right hand. Now you can see when we play that back, the hands are in a little bit more of a better position. They look a bit more realistic in terms of a running motion. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply the gesture to the left hand by clicking up here on the animation section and then choosing your gesture. And we can just uh, basically apply that to one hand or both the hands. And what that will mean is any gesture that we put on after this, it will either apply to the left hand, the right hand or both, whichever you've got selected. So we're just gonna apply the gesture to the left hand here. And what you're gonna see is when we actually now apply a gesture, it will only affect the left hand. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this clenched fist. And now you can see it only affects the left hand. It doesn't actually affect the right hand. And if we play that back now, at this point in our timeline, you'll see the fist will clench. So it does give a bit of animation and looks really cool. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the right hand, going into the animation tab and we're gonna apply gesture to just the right hand. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply the fist clench to the right hand. And then you'll see at this point in the timeline, it will affect that hand. So it affects them in two different points, which is really cool because it just really adds to the animation. And you know, it doesn't happen simultaneously, which allows, you know, a lot of realism in terms of just, you know, kind of offsetting the motions to come in at different points in the timeline. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna blend our clip and reduce the blend time just a little bit, just to bring the closing of the fist in a little bit sooner. We can actually just reduce the blend time just by dragging this little clip down here. And we'll just drag that back a little bit and that will reduce the blend time. So it will come in a little quicker when the fist clenches, as you can see, it's a lot more quicker and less slow. And if we play that back from the beginning, you'll see the results, you know, look really cool. And it just really adds that layer of realism to the animation. And it just makes it look a lot more appealing to the eye. So in this next scene, I'm gonna show you how we can actually use the Python samples. And we're gonna use the hand gesture puppeteer. And this is really, really cool tool. We can actually add in hand gestures in real time whilst we're watching back the motion. So that's a really, really cool tool. And you can access it by going up to your plugins here. And in your Python scripts, you can see the hand gesture. And we're just gonna turn this on and we're gonna just use this to actually uh, manually add in the keyframes, but in real time. So to do that, we're just gonna go to the point in our timeline and you can see the hand gestures here. They're kind of reverted back to our old ones. So we're just gonna load in the hand gesture clip here now. And this is our custom made one. And you can see it's got the fist clenched here. So you can see I'm doing this in real time as the characters move in, we're just, moving our mouse to the different points in the puppet where we want the fist to do the motion. And you can see on screen that's happening live. So it's a really cool feature, really cool tool to use just to add some motion to the hands at certain points in the timeline. And it just adds that layer of realism to the animation. And as you can see here, it, you know, really flows smoothly and seamlessly. And again, just adds to that realism. If we check the before and after, you can see at these certain points exactly what's going on with the hands and the motion. So again, just really adds to the animation overall. 
and really kind of looks pleasing to the eye when you really see, you know, different motions going on in the hands because a lot of the time we forget to do that. So, you know, it's always really good when you can layer that up and get them looking really perfect and in the correct times. Now, in this next scene, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to actually use the edit motion layer to manually change the hands and actually add the poses that we want to the hands. So if we play the scene back, you can see you know, the right hand here is not in the correct pose. And we're just going to create an animation layer and label that as hand. And then we'll go into our edit motion layer here and we're just going to offset using the rotation gizmos. And we can use this little hand puppet here as well to change the kind of motion and the offset of the fingers and the thumbs. And you can see here, I'm just using a rotation gizmo to tweak that and actually change that and set it into the correct pose. And now when we play that back, you can see that looks really cool there. So we're gonna do the same thing here, just tweak using the offset and we're using the hand puppet in the edit motion layer to do this. And then we can just really fine tune it all and get it looking how we please. So this is a really cool way to do it manually and you know get it looking how you want and if you want to kind of do specific things, you can do it exactly like this. And all we're doing is offsetting the fingers, offsetting the hands at different points in the timeline. That's creating a keyframe and it is really creating some great poses and great motion. So if we check the before and after, you can see exactly how far we've come and what we're able to achieve. So really easy, really simple to do. And, you know, it doesn't take long at all, a few minutes of tweaking and you've got some really cool animation that looks amazing and it looks really incredible. And the viewers, you know, really appreciate the effort you've gone to. Because like I say, a lot of the times we don't do the hands, we forget to do the hands. And, you know, it can be one of those awkward moments that people do notice. So really hope this tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.